Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table, well I was going to um, have a look at uh, something that involved going and flying, but the weather is rubbish because it's the UK and it's early autumn and sadly, you know, we've got rubbish cloud and mist and rain today. But perfect opportunity to have a look at a website that um, several people have sent me this actually over the last uh, last few days to have a look at. Um, it's quite geeky so I quite like it. But basically if you've got a uh, Phantom 3 this is something that could help you track the um, the health of your aircraft and its, its various systems. So I thought that'd be quite interesting to have a look at. But before we do that, it's the kitchen table. And of course, uh, we must have a beverage when we're discussing drones. It's very early in the morning here. I was hoping to get up and get some early morning flying in, but sadly not. So um, I'm on the coffee again. Some, uh, once again, still on, I'm really enjoying my home roasted uh, monsoon Malabar. So um, cheers. Oh, that's a hot, fresh one, that is. So yeah, I've been sent the link to a site called healthydrones.com and what healthydrones.com does is it takes the log files that your DJI Go app produces if you've got a Phantom 3 Pro, Phantom 3 Advanced and as the developers say possibly uh, the standard possibly the Inspire 1 although they haven't officially tested that if you've got either of those and you have, um, you have found that it works can you let everybody know and I'll pass that on but what it does, it takes the log files that are produced by the DJI Go app um, and you just upload those to this site. It's free. You just need to register if you want to do it, uh, multiple uploads. And then what it does is it takes that data and it sort of crunches the background behind it um, and presents some, some useful, um, potentially very useful and potentially safety critical data uh, along the lines of things like the battery health, how the aircraft's actually performing in relation to the control inputs you're putting in. It's a little bit geeky, but actually I think this could be something that's quite useful. Um, I personally don't won't necessarily plan on using this kind of every day or every week even, but certainly once a while, just upload all the logs that I've flown since the last time, and it crunches the numbers and presents you with a kind of, a, over time, it'll get more and more accurate analyzing things. So I thought it was worth a look. So let's jump over now. We'll, we'll jump on the laptop and we'll, we'll walk through some of the features and I'll just use a, um, the recent flight of mine. In fact, I'm using the one that I did with, um, with Jack, who came over, if you remember, and let me have a play with his Inspire 1. Let's have a look at the flight that was done uh, with that as an example. So here we are. Here's the, um, the home page. Now, obviously, I've uh, logged in and I've, and I've uploaded. The upload process is basically just finding your, uh, the relevant text file from the tablet. Now, what I've done is actually use the tablet to upload direct and then I'm using the desktop to have a look at it because it's just obviously a bigger screen here. But, um, uh, but yeah, on an Android uh, tablet, what's great, obviously, is that um, uh, it just works because it's got Chrome, so it, it carries straight across. So that was, that was fine. Uh, here, here's just one for um, uh, an example that I did. This was from the flight the other day with, um, with Jack, actually, while we were testing the P3 versus the Inspire 1. So here, here you are. Here's the overview of what you get. Um, in general, a map showing the trail of where you were, and then you get the totals, mileage, total distance, altitude, speed, etc., 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 which is great. Um, some alerts, which is interesting. So here's some from my trip. It said here, look, one minute thirty-two second, we had a warning. Gimbal calibration failed because I noticed I had a wonky horizon. So I calibrated my gimbal in the air, which of course failed. But miraculously, although it failed, it tends to cure the horizon. So just like in that video of um, tips I did, that seemed to work for me. And then, bizarrely, it says a connection lost for 12.9 seconds, which I don't recall at all um, uh, that happening, but apparently it did. Uh, I don't know why it was, as you can see, not very far away. We were just doing the filming, so, uh, but there we go. So that's quite useful for maybe debugging something. Perhaps you arranged testing and things went wrong or you moved your, uh, you moved your antennas or something. Um, really useful there. Um, so, yeah. So we've got uh, power is the next setting uh, and this is where it gets quite geeky. So obviously it, it's only estimating based on one flight, but on one 10 minute flight, roughly where the battery got to, we should be getting 23, 24 minutes. Obviously that's, you know, the more, the more you fly, the more accurate, but that gives it to you. And a nice explanation as well. They don't just, you know, 
don't just kind of leave you hanging, they actually explain. Um, a look at the individual battery cells, which is very interesting. So again, a guide to your battery health to make sure that those cells are balanced and are providing power equally, and it will flag up any major deviations and it just goes, look, you're fine. Everything's hunky-dory, which is great. Could be a very useful early indicator of the battery suffering. Um, so that's really interesting. And then you get uh, info, serial number, temperature logs, and that sort of thing. The next one is your sensors, which is basically, this is a signal strength map. So green was good, orange is fair, red is poor, and purple was disastrous for some reason. I suspect I probably put the transmitter down or something there on that purple bit. Um, um, but yeah, again, if you're debugging, if you're uh, wondering what's happening, this can be a very useful tool there. Signal scores, it, it's just giving you a score, really. It's just giving you a number. Higher is better. So, you know, this is about 50%. Um, then it gives you the GPS, which again, all green, I would hope. Um, yeah, 50, we had 15 plus satellites the whole time. I do like the GLONASS. Um, and Compass, which is interesting. So this is giving you a rate change. And what it's looking at is, you know, if your compass is changing by 25 degrees or more per 0.1 second, that's not right. Um, and so this is looking at, uh, are you having some sort of magnetic anomalies or anything like that? And it, it's gone fine. So that's really useful as well. Controls, I thought this was quite interesting. Well, you know, um, you've got rudder response time. Um, so looking at things like, you know, you could have turbulence, it could be difference in air temperature that could affect that. But also perhaps if you've changed your, uh, changed your expos. Um, and response time per left or right, if one direction faster than the other, could indicate the props are worn out or need to be balanced, possibly. But I would caution against that because weather is gonna affect those values. Uh, and obviously bearing on this is only based on 27 turns. So I would start to look at this over a long period of time. Um, and interestingly, wind, which comes up with this delightful, who remembers GeoCities? <laughs> Sorry, that's an old geek kind of in joke there. Um, so it looks like what they're gonna do is be able to gate, work out wind direction based on your speed um, and response times coming in different directions, which would be really interesting. And then, you know, you, could, you can log that. So this is just really geeky. Um, and really nice. And one of the other things you can do is download this as a KML file, which means Google, you can put that into Google Earth and see it in three dimensions. So there we go, healthydrones.com. I thought that was really nicely done. It's completely free of charge. Um, uh, and I, just a really well presented and nice insight. And I think um, as a little diagnostic tool, something to maybe just keep an eye on your investment and how it's performing. Particularly, I like the way that it analyzes the battery because uh, it, without power, these things don't glide. So that's um, that's a really useful, useful thing. And I thought some of the possible developments that they're gonna add in really can help you. If you're, as I say, it's gonna, it's gonna please two sorts of people. The, the, somebody who just wants to run it occasionally as a sort of a diagnostic check, great. Somebody like me who might be slightly geeky attendances, it's quite interesting to delve down through all the little bits and pieces in there. There we go, that was it. I hope you found that interesting and useful. Go and check out that website. Thank you as ever for your time and um, uh, for your support. For those of you who've um, helped uh, support the channel, helped me to continue doing this sort of thing, I really appreciate it. If you've bought one of the mugs um, or if you've signed up, as quite a few of you have lately, and thank you to become a channel patron, that's awesome. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And um, there's other ways that you can you can help out that, uh, that don't involve you putting your hand in your pocket and they're always down in the bottom of the description, some links to use, etc. Anyway, thank you very much as ever and I will see you again soon back here on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.